Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grandma! I love our new bike. Oh, good! Now, how about a Grandma Huggle? Squeeze! <laughs> Grandma has given us our first bikes ever. Our new bikes have got stabilisers to help us to learn to ride them. <laughs> you can practice riding your bikes all afternoon long whilst I pop off to my meeting. And I can help you. I don't need any help, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Running a new bike is easy. Well, learning to ride a new bike isn't always easy. Now, off them until you go outside. Let's yes, push them out is. into the garden. Is it? it? Is. Well, we need to pop your helmets on then, don't we? Yeah. Go. So we take our bikes out of the garden. And Mummy gives us our helmets. Enjoy yourselves, Topsy and Tim. Good girl, let me just check your helmet. Lovely, OK. Right, how are you doing, Tim? Oh, you done that up? Yes. All right, let's move yours forward a little bit as well. OK, everybody get set. Right. OK, twins, off you go. Oh, look, Grandma, look, Tim, I can do it. Brilliant. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're going fast, Topsy. Riding my new yellow bike isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Grandma, can I have some help? Oh. Ah. OK. Here we go. Mossy! Oh. Mossy, come on. Come on, Mossy, inside. Inside. Mossy, Mossy, come on. Come on, Moss, good girl. Come here, come here, come on. I think we should go inside because Tim's learning to ride his bike and you're getting in the way. Here we go, here we go. Good girl. Push your feet around on the pedal stem. OK. Oh. Can you give me another push, please? Oh. <sighs> Topsy stays on her red bike all afternoon. <laughs> Topsy's still going. Now, where do you want to sit? I'll stand, Grandma. You're going to stand? OK, well, I'll sit down then for a minute. I don't want to ride my bike anymore. Come on. I'll help you. OK. <laughs> right, let's go and get on it. Well done, you're on it. OK, now, you don't have to worry about wobbling over cos you've got stabilisers, OK? OK. Just push down on the pedals with your feet. If you wobble, I'll catch you, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see, off we go. That's it, Tim. That's it. You're doing it. Uh, That's Grandma, it. help! Well done, Tim. Oh, That's ow. it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Ow. What have you done? Let's have a look. Are you all right? No. Oh. I show Grandma my hand, and there's a thorn in it. Right, come on. Let's go inside. We'll soon get that out. Thanks, oh. Grandma. Dear. You were doing so well too, Tim. Grandma pulls the thorn out of my hand and makes it better. And a kiss. Now your hand is well again, Tim. <laughs> oh, I think this is Mummy back from her meeting. Hi. Hi. Oh, dear. What's happened? I fell off my bike into a bush. Oh. Tim was trying so hard on his bike and he was just getting the hang of it when he fell. Mummy! Mummy! Come and see me ride my bike! Oh, wow, Topsy! Looking good! <laughs> Come on, Timmy, you're not coming back out on your bike again? No, my hand still hurts. I don't want to ride my new bike anymore. I know what you need, Tim. A bicycle lesson from your mummy. Come on, Mossy Doggy. Come on. Out in the garden. Come on. Here. I think Grandma's right. Why don't I go and get my old bike and then we can practice together in the garden? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mummy's old bike is dirty and dusty. It has a baby seat on the back. 
Did I used to sit on this tiny seat when I was a baby? <laughs> yes, you did. You'd sit on the back of my bike and Topsy would sit on the back of Daddy's bike. Oh, there we go. Now, why don't you go and grab your helmet and then we can go out into the garden? Yeah, OK. Mummy! Coming! Mummy! <laughs> right. Do you want to watch me ride my bike? Yes! yes. OK. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Mummy rides her bike in circles. She's really good at it. And her bike doesn't have stabilizers. Okay, you lot, it's your turn now. Topsy, Tim. Oh, or Grandma? Yes, yes, Grandma! <laughs> no, not me. Now I think I think you two should show Mummy what you can do. Yes! Let Mummy watch me! Oh, that's brilliant, Topsy. Oh, very good. Girl. Come on, Tim. Why don't you show Mummy how you can ride your bike? I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Yes, you can do it, Tim. Seeing Grandma to go home, we gave Grandma some flowers, which Mummy let us pick from the garden, to say thank you for our new bikes. Oh, aren't they lovely? Thank you for our new bikes, Grandma. Oh, we oh. absolutely love them. Those are lovely. You know what this demands, don't you? Squeeze! Squeeze. Who wants to ride their bikes to the park? Me! Mossy would like that too. <laughs> So we can all go together and we can call in on Josie Miller and she can ride her bike there too. Yay! <laughs> Josie will love my new red bike. <laughs> and I hope she'll like my bike. Yeah! Yeah! And that's when Mummy said, When you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie. <laughs> when you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie, Topsy and Tim. Yeah! Come on, let's cycle to the park. Oh. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Come on, come on. Come on. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Grandma gave us new bikes. Can you remember the colour of Tim's bike? Was it red? Or was it yellow? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Anytime, Josie, you're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye Josie. Josie goes everywhere on her bike. She even rides it when she comes to our house. 
we live just across the road. And she cycles to school on her bike. When we start to school, I go to cycle there every day. Like Josie does. I'm going to go on my scooter. Oh, look, here's Grandma. Oh, Grandma! Hi, 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 Hello, you too. Where's my hello, Grandma Huggle? There you go. Right, I'm off for my run. Thank you so much for coming to look after Topsy and Tim for me, Grandma. It's my absolute pleasure. Going in. Oh. Mummy, mm -hmm. when we start school, please can we ride our bikes there every day, just like Josie does? No, I don't want to go on my bike. I want to go on my scooter. Do you know, I hadn't really thought about how we'd get to school yet. Um, I know, why don't we do a test run now? Yeah! Come on my run. Yeah, sounds that's like that's a good that's idea. That's so. Yeah. Tim, you could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great. Yes. yes. We can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah. Yes. Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. I zoom ahead of my scooter. Not too fast, Tim. Wait for us when you get to the end of the road, please. OK, Mummy. I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Keep good on that new bike, Topsy. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Let's stop, let's check. Left, right, left again. Perfect, let's go. I came back on Topsy's bike. And I came back on Tim's scooter. <laughs> Why did you swap? Just for fun. Sorry. And to see which way was easier. And which way did you prefer, Topsy? I prefer my bike. Aww. Bikes are more grown up. What about you, Tim? I like scooting on my scooter. Scoot, scoot, scoot. <laughs> scoot, 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 scoot. How was your run, Joy? Yeah, it's great, thanks, Jean. <laughs> Do you know, when your dad was little, we didn't have all these choices. We just walked to school and that was that. Oh, in fact, I brought something to show you. Grandma has some old photographs in her handbag. Let's have a look. What is it on my laptop? There we go. Oh, I'll right stand here. Topsy. OK, now I'll put it here. Yeah, I know, I'd like to find them. Yep, we've got photographs. Oh, photos of them. Let's have a little look and oh. see what we've got there. Look, now. This is your dad on his first day at school. What? <laughs> That's Dad? Yes! Didn't he look smart in his uniform? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Got a bit of a big sweater on, hasn't he? I can't he? believe Dad ever looked like that. <laughs> you know, you look a lot like him, Tim. Mm. And look. Oh, what's this? What's Mummy got? I've got... What pictures? Some pictures oh. of me in oh. my school uniform oh. on my first day at primary school. Oh, you look so <laughs> sweet, Mummy. <laughs> You look lovely. I like your school uniform, oh, Mummy. And I can't wait to see you two in your uniforms on your first day at school. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Mossy Doggy. Yes, oh, you're awake at last. Yes, Daddy. Is she ready for a walk, do you think? Yes, yes, she's ready. Good, because I have been thinking, Topsy and Tim, we could try walking to your new school now with Mossy if you'd like to. Walking? Oh, yes! That's cool! Yes! It'll be fun! Oh, and we can do a shortcut over the old railway footbridge. Oh, yes! Oh. The footbridge near where Mr Rosen lives. <gasps> Mr Rosen, we've forgotten all about our promise to Mr Rosen. Oh, yeah, we promised Mr Rosen that every day we wave to him before we go to school on the footbridge. So, Tim, we can't go to school on our bikes or our scooters. No. We're going to have to walk <laughs> without our bikes and scooters so we can yes, wave to Mr. Over Rosen. the footbridge. Yes. And we can wave to him there. Yeah. We can't break our promise. Otherwise, Mr. Rosen will be sad. We can be anything if we close our eyes and dream. Best friends forever.
We like the walk to school. Mummy pointed out Mr. Rosen's home from the footbridge, and we all waved. But Mr. Rosen wasn't at his window today. Uh, do you think Mr. Rosen will be at his window to wave to us on our first day at school, Mummy? Yes, of course he will. He promised. And Mr. Rosen is a good friend who doesn't forget his promises, just like you two. I'm so excited about going to school. Oh, I know. How about you, Tim? Our school looked really big today, Mummy. Yes, Hatchin Primary is a big school. Lots of children go there. But I don't think I want to go to big school. You know, I was really worried about starting big school, just like you. But once I got used to it, I really loved it. Really? Yes, I did. And you will love it too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time, Topsy and Tim. It's the day of your school visit. You'll meet your teacher and all the other children in your class. I can't wait to go to big school. <laughs> I just don't want to go. Oh, Tim. Once you've seen your new classroom and met your teacher, going to big school will all feel fine. It'll be promise. fine. OK, Mummy. OK. Now, Tim, it's time for you to get tucked up in bed. Night, night, Daddy, Teddy! <laughs> night, night. night, Tim! Night, night, Topsy. Night, Mummy. Night, night, my top-tastic Topsy. Good girl. Mm. Sleep tight. Oh, thank you. Oh, lovely cuddle. Thank you, Topsy. Night, night. night Your visit to big school will be really good fun tomorrow, Tim. So you need to get a good night's sleep, OK? And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we had a practice school run. But can you remember the colour of Tim's helmet? Was it yellow or green? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. Tim? You could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great! Yeah, we can go to Hatch and Primary School and then back again. Yeah! Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Okay, wait for me. Let's stop, let's check. Left, right. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Do you want me to go again? Yes. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Today, our babysitter Danielle is looking after us while Mummy and Dad have gone out together because it's their wedding anniversary. They got married six years ago today. Danielle is helping us make a special cake as a surprise for Mummy and Dad. There we go. Now it looks all fluffy. Oh, yeah, it does. Now, who wants to sieve the flour? Me! Me! me. OK, Topsy, you hold it. I'll pour. And Tim, get ready to tap. Go! By the time we'd finished clearing up, the cake is baked and cooled and ready for decorating. 
Ooh, that cake looks really yummy. I know, it'll taste yummy as well. When can we decorate the cake? Oh, now. What would you like to decorate it with? Um, I know, maybe... Oh, things that Mummy and Daddy like. Mummy likes these jammy biscuits. Dad loves chocolate fingers. I'm going to put some chocolate fingers on the cake for Dad. Fantastic, a biscuit cake. <laughs> yeah. Off you go. This will be delicious. Oh, this is so nice. We make the cake look very special. Here. <laughs> I know. It looks really good, doesn't it? It looks fantastic. Well done, Topsy and Tim. I know how we can make the cake even more special for Mummy and Dad, as it's their wedding anniversary. Yes, we can make a special wedding cake with three layers. Yeah. Please come with Danielle. Oh, sorry, Topsy and Tim, but we don't have time to make two more cake layers before Mummy and Dad get home. We don't need more cake. We can use these. Yes, we can decorate a plate each and then put them on the cake like this. That's a yeah. brilliant idea, Topsy and Tim. I'm going to decorate my cake. Upstairs in my room. I'm going to do my hair. I draw a picture of Mummy and Dad on my plate. Oh, great picture, Topsy. Well done. Thank you, Danielle. Mm. That's I make a farm plate. Oh, that's beautiful, Topsy. Well done. Now go and wash your hands and we'll make it stand up on the cake. Okay. Can you bring your plate down now, please, Tim? Come on, Tim. Coming. It's a farm. Look, Danielle. Oh, that's brilliant, Tim. There we go. Wow, your plate is really good, Topsy. You've both done so well. There we go. Going to make our plate stand up on the cake, Danielle. Well, I thought we could use these chocolate fingers, but first of all, you have to wash your hands, please, Tim. Oh yeah. Thank you. Mm. Pop that on there. Okay, Topsy. If you want to get the first chocolate finger, and we're going to put it here. There. There we go. Make a nice hole. That's perfect. Where should I put it? I'd like you to put that there. Here. That's fantastic. Oh. Try and balance it very gently on top of the chocolate fingers. Yes. How's that? Brilliant. Another one. Just there. There. There we go. Nice and gently. It doesn't all fall down. Ooh. That's perfect. Oh, this looks really good. Now let's try and put my farm plate on. Yay! Oh! Oh! <laughs> try again. <laughs> I think that one's wonky. Yay! Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well you done, Topsy and Tim. Do we need one over here? Oh. Mummy! They're back! <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mummy! Hello, nice time. Hello, my fantastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a special anniversary wedding surprise. Oh, it's in here. Look. A surprise? What is it? Oh, oh, Liz! <gasps> oh, <laughs> wow! Look at this cake! Oh, my goodness. It's got all our favourite biscuits. We made yeah. it like your wedding cake. Oh, thank you. Hi, Danielle. It's fantastic. I want to take a picture of it. <gasps> uh, 
Oh, thank you very much for helping them, Danielle. Oh, they did really well. Oh, I'll tell you what, do you want me to take one of you four for Let's you? Oh, that would be yeah. Thank you, Chocolate. Danielle. I'll go here. Squeeze them. Oh, OK, so here we go. I'm going to stand here. Why don't you go there? Cake! 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 Yummy, yummy cake! Oh, oh, hang on a minute, sorry. Oh. It's, uh, oh, it's Grandpa calling. You all go and eat. I'll, um, I'll be back okay. in a minute. Let's have a slice. Yay. Get a plate. There you go. We can't eat the plates, Dad. We can't, can't eat the plates. Eat a slice. Oh, Danielle eats a slice of cake and then goes home. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Mummy's on the phone for a long time. It's have taken you ages to make this. Not too long, Danielle. Oh, she was good, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Look, Danielle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. OK, bye. Oh, sorry, gang. Here's your cake, Mummy. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Mm, yum. Mm. Mm. What did Grandpa say, Mummy? Is everything all right? Not really. Granny Molly's had a little fall. Oh, but don't oh, worry. Molly. I know, but don't worry. She's fine. She's just hurt her arm a little bit. But she's been in hospital and she needs to rest at home. Oh, poor Granny and Grandpa. Mm. Hope she gets well soon. Mm. And that's when Mummy said... I'm going, I'm going to, to stay, stay with Granny, Granny Molly and Grandpa, Grandpa next week. So I am going to go and stay with Granny Molly and Grandpa next week, Topsy and Tim. We don't want you to go. We want to come or you can just you, stay. Can we come? Oh. Don't go. No, listen, you'll be fine. I need to go up and, get, and help them out. I've got to catch the train. But Dad will take good care of you two. <gasps> Hang on. If I'm looking after you two, who's going to look after me? We will. We will. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Be good for Dad next week, OK? We will. We will, Mummy. <laughs> good. Now, guess what? What? This is the best cake I have ever tasted. <laughs> so I think we should all have another Yay! one. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we made a special cake for Mummy and Dad. Can you remember what Tim made for the top layer of the cake? Was it a farm plate? Or was it a dinosaur plate? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is a farm plate. Watch this. I draw a picture of Mummy and Dad on my plate. Oh, great picture, Topsy. Well done. Thank you, Danielle. I make a farm plate. Look at my plate, Danielle. Oh, that's beautiful, Topsy. Well done. Now go and wash your hands and we'll make it stand up on the cake. Can you bring your plate down now, please, Tim? Oh, that's brilliant, Tim. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Wow. Come and sit next to me, Tim. I just woke up and she was there. Soft and friendly. Listen, she's purring. Huh. We need to think of a name. What should we call her? Mrs. Fluffy Boots. <laughs> this is Fluffy Boots. That's funny. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Are you lost? Topsy. Do you think Bobby will let us keep her? I don't know. I'll go and ask Mummy. And I'll carry on stroking her. Mummy, Mummy! Good morning.
morning, Tim. You've got to come upstairs, quick. What? What is it? Please come, Mummy. Why? What is it? Come. All right, OK. <laughs> All right, I'm going, I'm going. I'll follow you. Go on. Come, go on. Come. When Mummy meets Mrs Fluffy Boots, she likes her just as much as we do. Oh, you are a lovely girl. So, we ask if we can keep her. Pleasey, pleasey, double, please. Can we keep Mrs Flappy Boots, Mummy? Please. Oh, I'm sorry, Topsy and Tim, you can't. Mm. I'm sorry. No. But she belongs to somebody else. Look at this lovely collar. She's very well cared for. Mm. So, you mean someone has lost her? Yes, and imagine how you'd feel if you lost Wiggles the rabbit. I'd be very sad. Mm -hmm. So would I. Well, Mrs Fluffy Boot's owner is probably looking for her right now. We've got to help them find her! But how will they know she's here? I've got an idea. We could take a photograph of Mrs Fluffy Boots and show all the people down our road the picture. Yes, to see if they know her owner. That's a brilliant idea. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots, we'll find your owner. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Me <laughs> and press that button there. OK. Say nice, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> yes! Mummy, Topsy, let's go, come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes, it's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming! <laughs> Come on, Topsy. <laughs> we cross the road safely with Mummy. Okay. Let's look left, right, left again. Are we clear? Yeah. Well, let's go. <gasps> look, there's Tracy Miller. Hi, Josie. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Hi. Why have you got that big plaster on your forehead? Josie. It's because I fell off my bike. <laughs> <laughs> we tell Josie Miller and her mum about Mrs Fluffy Boots. Um, but they don't know who owns the cat. No, sorry. Mr Fen might know who that cat belongs to. Why don't you go and ask him? Okay. Over here, Mr Fen! Mr Fen, Mr Fen! <laughs> we ask Mr Fen if he knows who the cat belongs to. Do you know who this cat belongs oh. to? But Mr Fen doesn't know who owns Mrs Fluffy Boots either. I'm afraid I don't at all. Mind you, I've got an idea who might know. Why don't you try Jamie the Postman? Yeah, he might be able to help. <gasps> Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Jamie! 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 Get on the pavement, please, you two. OK, Mummy. Please, Jamie, do you know who this cat belongs to? Oh. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank Jamie. you. Right. We're never going to find this fluffy boots owner. Tell you what, why don't we have a break and have some lunch and then we can come back and look for Mrs Fluffy Boots only this afternoon, OK? OK. It'll be all right. Mm. We all had salmon for lunch. And Mrs Fluffy Boots drank water from one of Mossy's dog bowls. You're happy in our house, aren't you, Mrs Fluffy Boots? <laughs> I wish you could stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's at the door. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this where Topsy and Tim live? Yes. <sighs> yes, we're Topsy and Tim. Oh, well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think you may have found my cat. And Mrs Higgly Piggly and I live... The in lady says she lives at the end of our road. And her name is Mrs Higgly Piggly. Oh, look, there you are. 
How lovely to see you. Isn't Jamie the postman marvellous? He said, if you've lost your cat, go and knock on the door of Topsy and Tim, and here I am. <laughs> we will miss you, Mrs Fluffy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Fluffy Boots? Is that what you call him? Oh, yeah. I'm yes. sorry, Topsy, but Mrs Fluffy Boots isn't a missus. It's a mister. He's a boy. Oh. oh yes. A boy? Yes. Oh. Even and his name is Tiger. <gasps> Tiger! Hello, Tiger. Hello, Tiger Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots. Oh, that's splendid. I shall call you Tiger Fluffy Boots from now on. <laughs> Come on, let's get some Tiger Fluffy Boots. Back in his carriage. Oh, yeah. Here Come we go. On. Now you know where Come you on, live. Tiger. There we go. Oh, and that's when Mrs. Higgly Piggly said. Please come and have tea with us very soon. Please come and have tea with us very soon, Topsy and Tim. Oh, yes, can we, Mummy? Can we? Can we? Yes, of course you can. Thank you, Mrs. Higgly Piggly. Oh, thank you. Now, off we, we go. go. Oh, that's Will oh, you? Thank, thank you very you much. I'll open the door. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye, darling. Let me take him now. Oh, yes. Got him. Heavy, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Bye bye, Topsy and Tim, and thank you again. And that said, Mrs. Higgly Piggly, was that? Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we found a lost cat. But can you remember what we used to take a photo of the cat? Was it Mummy's mobile phone? Or was it Dad's pocket camera? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Mummy's mobile phone. Watch this. Yes. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can. But after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. See. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots. We'll find your owner. See you later. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Okay, and press that button there. OK. Say nice, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Nice. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Topsy, let's go. Come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes. It's great. Someone will know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Shoes on, please, Topsy and Tim. Yes, Mummy. Tony Welch's dad is coming with us to nursery school today. He's going to take a photo of us all on our last day. Uh, uh, Tony Welch. Hi, Paul. Hi, Tony. Come on in. Hi, Joy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mrs. Ojo. Hi. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Mr. Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you wearing your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> What's that? Well, this is a tripod. It makes my camera nice and steady so I can take a really good picture of all of you. We made a biscuit for you. Oh. We made one because we wanted to thank you for taking our picture today. Oh, that's very nice of you. Look at this. Oh. It's shaped like the sun because we hoped it would be sunny for our nursery school photo today. Oh. I hope so too. Let me have a try. Mmm. Oh, Very nice. The phone. There you go. You pop it on. Okay. Let's play catch. This is me, Tony. That's me, Topsy. Oh, it's Miss Maypole. Hello. Oh. Come on, Tim. No, no. We were just about to leave. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Yeah. I'll tell everyone here. Okay. Thank you, Miss Maypole. Bye. What did Miss Maple say, Mummy? 
She's said that they've found a wasp's nest in the roof of the nursery school building. Wow! Whoa, oh, cool. And she's very sorry, but Tiddlywinks Nursery School will be closed today. Oh, Bye. that's a shame. Bye. Well, if you find a wasp's nest in a building, you can't let children go in and play there. Miss Maple needs to keep the nursery as safe as possible. Mm, of course. But it was our last day of nursery school today. Oh. And now my dad can't take our class photo. It's not fair. I know. Tony, you could stay here and play with us. Yes! We can have the last day of nursery school at our house! <laughs> and if you got all your nursery class round, then I can still take this picture of you. <gasps> yes! Come on, Mummy. Please, <laughs> double, double, please! <laughs> I think that is a brilliant idea, Topsy and Tim. I'll call Miss Maple straight away and ask her to invite everyone here for the last day of nursery school. Yes! <laughs> Miss Maple says yes. She'd love us to hold nursery school at our house. Everyone's here, you ready? And she arrives with all our friends. And we do circle time as usual. OK, Topsy, why don't you stand up, have a think about it, and tell everyone what makes you really happy at nursery school. What makes me happy at nursery school is... Playing with all my friends. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Thank you very much, Topsy. OK, Kerry, your turn. Stand up and tell us what makes you happy. What makes me happy at nursery school? I love story time about funny animals who can talk. Oh, I like those too, Kerry. Thank you very much. Um, your turn now, Tim. What makes me happy about nursery school is... Snack time. <laughs> <laughs> we all like snack time, don't we? Well, if we're very lucky, maybe we'll have snack time soon. Well, if Miss Maypole agrees, we could have snack time now. <gasps> what yes, do you think? Please. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Um, Thank you very much. I wonder what we're going to have today. Very special treat from Topsy and Tim's mummy. Topsy and Tim have made you all biscuits. Oh. <laughs> Here you are, Kerry. Yes. Want a biscuit? Yes. All our friends take a biscuit each. Then there's just the smiley biscuit left. It's Miss Maple's special biscuit. This is for you, the smiley face biscuit. It's beautiful, thank you so much. It's smiley just like, just like you. Oh, well, thank you very much, Topsy and Tim. Mmm. OK, who'd like a drink? Me! Me too. Oh, lovely. What are we going to do after we've had our drinks and biscuits, Miss Maple? Well, if we're very good and finish our snack time, I've got a very special idea. Hold, Here we get the piece. Piece. Hold it nice and tight. Miss Maple wants us to make a big hamper and picture in the kitchen. Mummy finds some paper and we get our paints out. Topsy goes first. Good girl. Uh, look at my hands, Mummy. They're all clean now. Perfect and clean. Go on, show Miss Maple. Oh, let's see. Miss Maple, I wash my hands. Sparkling. Perfect. You can come and help go me on, take this out to the garden. Off you, you go, Vindigo, and wash your the hands. The garden. The garden. Why the garden? Because Tony's dad is going to take a special class photograph for us out in the garden. Yeah! Let's yeah. see it's really carefully, Topsy. We get ready to have our photo taken on the patio. Come on, everyone, quickly, quickly! That's it, make sure we all get on. Oh. Come on, underneath, that's it. Everyone peek their heads over. We all got our hands on it. Fantastic. OK, well, that'll be perfect. OK, I am ready when you are. Don't take the photo yet, Dad. Tim's still washing his hands. Don't worry, Tony, Tim will be on the photograph. You all will be. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. <laughs> 
now we are all ready for our nursery school photo. I'm ready. Thank you, Topsy and Tim, and your mummy too, for inviting us all to spend the last day of nursery school here. You've been such a special class, and I wish you all a very happy time at big school. Now, everyone, look at the camera, and let's say Tiddly Wings! Tiddly Wings! Oh, look, that's perfect. Oh, it's lovely. OK, let's do some more. Right, everyone say Tiddly Wings again. Here we go. On three, one, Ready, two, three. Tiddly Wings! After everyone has gone home, Tony's dad shows us the photos. Yeah. I like that one where we're all pulling funny faces. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? I liked having the last day of nursery school at our house. I feel sad that we're never going to go to Tiddlywinks Nursery School again. Oh, but you'll feel happy when you all go to big school together. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait till I go to Hatcham Primary School with all of my friends. Oh, look at that one. That's a really good one. And that's when Tony said, I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you. I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you, Topsy and Tim. Why? Why? Um, I'm moving house, so I'll be going to a different big school, won't I, Dad? Yes, that's right, Tony. Our new house is too far away from Hatcham Primary School, so we're going to take Tony to a different school instead. It's not fair. I know you feel sad, but we'll still see Tony lots. We'll make sure of it, won't we, Paul? Yes, of course, I promise. At the weekends? Mm -hmm. In school holidays? <laughs> Forever! <laughs> <laughs> Let's You really, really, never, never. really are yes, great yes, friends. Yes, 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 yes. And that's it, Mummy. Was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, all our friends from nursery school came round. Can you remember what Tony Welch was wearing? Was it his football kit or was it his new school uniform? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. The answer is his football kit. Watch this. Hi, Joy. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Hello Mrs. O'Do. Hi. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Mr. Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you dressed in your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon. Girl called Josie Miller is coming to our house to play today. Hi, I love squishing boxes. Do you think Josie Miller would like squishing boxes too? Yep. Yes. We can show her how to squash them. Yeah. Josie lives over the road from our new house. We've seen her riding her bike. So fun! Here's another one. It'll be nice yes. for you both to make a new friend in the road, won't it? Joy, Hello, and this Mrs. is Topsy. Oh, please call me Marie. <laughs> Hello, Topsy. Do you like your new home on Westview Avenue? Yes, I love it. And I love your red bike, Josie. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, come on, you two. My favourite colour's red. My favourite colour's red too. Snap! What does snap mean? Snap is something you say when two things are the same, or when you both like the same thing. <laughs> and we both like red. Snap! Snap! <laughs> Tim, Josie's here. Why don't you go and say hi to Tim? Hi, Tim. Hi, Josie. Wow, you've got a lot of boxes. But we could make something out of these boxes. I know. That's why I'm squashing them. Do you want to squash a box? Yes, please. Here you go, Josie. You can squash one with me. I'll do it like this. Tim? No. Um, 
jumping on the boxes. Okay. Can I have my juice in here, please? Yes, I'll get it. Be careful, Tim. <coughs> Tim. Would you like apple juice or orange juice, Josie? Apple, please. Apple is my favourite. <laughs> apple is my favourite too. Snap! <laughs> Where did you learn to say snap, Topsy? Josie taught me. We say it at school. Wow, you go to school? Yes, I go to Hatcham Primary School. I'm in reception class, but soon I'll be in year one. Wow! We're going to the same school as you, Josie. You'll love it. My teacher is called Miss Terry and we do lots of different things. Reading, numbers, making things. Wow. What kind of things do you make, Josie? We made rabbit pictures today because we're getting a class rabbit. We've got a pet rabbit called Wiggles. Do you want to see him? Yes, please. Oh, come on. Topsy, can you just take this to Tim before you go out to okay. Wiggles? OK. Thank you. Here you are, Tim. I'm going to make something out of these boxes in my room. <laughs> Don't you want to play with Josie and me? Oh, maybe in a bit. Thanks, Topsy. Wiggles is so soft. You're really lucky to have him, Topsy. Thanks, Josie. That's enough stroking, girls. Wiggles is getting used to you, Topsy, but he needs his run now. Wash hands, please. OK. Thank you. Come on. Tim, tea's ready. Coming. We have yummy fish fingers, chips and peas for tea. Then strawberries and ice cream. I love strawberries. <laughs> Me too. Snap! <laughs> Josie, you know you said we can make something out of our cardboard boxes? Yes. Well, I've put some boxes upstairs. So do you want to help me make some out of them? Yes, please. This is my last strawberry. Mine too. Snap, snap. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely tea, Mummy. Please make me and Josie leave the table. Yes, you may. Come, Josie. OK. Thanks for my tea, Mrs O'Dell. You're welcome. Come Look at all these boxes I collected so we can make something. Oh, yes. What should we make? Um, well, I was thinking a robot. Or a rabbit like Wiggles? A rabbit? Yes. We can make them both. You mean a robot and a rabbit? Um, I mean a robot rabbit. That's a brilliant idea, Tim. I've never made a robot rabbit before. <laughs> we could use um, this big box for the body and this one for the head. Oh, yeah. So Josie and I start making a robot rabbit. And I call Topsy upstairs to help us. Oh, yeah. Topsy! Come and see what we're making. And please bring up some wrapping paper and tinfoil. <laughs> Mummy gives us some leftover tinfoil. <laughs> and we make the best ever robot rabbit out of old boxes. Pipe cleaners for whiskers. Oh, cool, because that helps make them curly. Yeah. Josie shows us how to make them curly. Like that? Yeah. Rip it, Tim, rip it. Like that, that like this. No, because they need it a bit smaller. Can I put this blue one? I'm yeah. two blue ones. Let's put some extra ones here, just to be. Look at the blob of glue on the glue. That's it. I like making things. I like making things with Josie. I like making things with you two, Topsy and Tim. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Josie. 
Oh, look how clever you all are. <laughs> Thanks, Mummy. It's a robot rabbit. Oh. I want to make a friend for him. And a heart. Out of all these cardboard boxes. Yeah. Mummy, you can help. Oh, I'd love to, but not right now, Tim. It's time for Josie to go home. Oh. oh, don't worry. Josie can come and play another day. Yes. Or you can come to my house next time, Topsy and Tim. Yay! And that's when Mummy said, Soon you'll be starting at big school. Soon you'll be starting at big school, Topsy and Tim. And then you'll get to see Josie every day. Yay! I cycle to school. Oh, please can we learn to ride bikes so that we can cycle with Josie, Mummy? Please? Yes, you can. But bike riding is definitely something for another day. Come on, Josie, it's home time. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, our new friend Josie came to play. Can you remember what we made from the old cardboard boxes? Was it a rabbit, a robot, or a robot rabbit? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. The answer is a robot rabbit. Watch this. <laughs> Mummy gives us some leftover tin foil. Nice. And we make the best ever robot rabbit out of old boxes. Nice. Oh, good choice, Tim. We use pipe cleaners for whiskers. Oh, cool, because that helps make more curls. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Hello, hello, hello! Hello, Grandma! Oh, thanks for coming over. Oh, I'll take that for you. Oh, thank you. Can I help? Oh, please oh. do, Topsy. Good girl. Thanks, lovely. Come with me. Yeah. Come with me. yeah. We're inviting all our friends to our birthday party and we're going to decorate our house. Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party decorations, Grandma? Not yet, Topsy. First, I need my Hello Grandma Hubble. <laughs> oh, not now, Grandma. Oh. Tim's writing his name on their birthday party invitations. Well done, Tim. Then I shall have my Hubble from you first, Topsy, and then with you, Tim. OK. Come on, Topsy. Squeeze! <laughs> Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party stuff now? Go on, then. Come on, Mossy. Look. Wow, Tim, can I see all this? And I finished my writing. Mossy, look. Squeeze. It's special party bunting, Topsy. We'll decorate the room with it for your fifth birthday party. I think Mossy likes it. Oh, so do I. <laughs> oh, careful, Mossy, out of there, please. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Do you know, I think she might be a bit thirsty. Oh, I'll get you a drink of water, Mossy. Come on. Mossy, a water bowl. Topsy, look, I'm using the orange pen to do the mmm in Tim. Uh, there, done. Look, Topsy, I've written my whole name all in different colours and in my best handwriting. Look, Topsy. Oh, that looks nice, Tim. It's especially for Tony. Hey, Mossy! <coughs> Can you just please write your name just here? In a minute, Mossy. Hey. <laughs> in a minute. No, please, Topsy, can you do it now? I just need to fill the bowl. No, Topsy! Sorry. Oh, Topsy, look. Look what you've done. It's oh, really wet. sorry. I'm the writing's gone all runny. I'm really 
sorry, Tim. You can do try me another card. No, I can't because that was the last one. Oh, Tim! I told you I was sorry. Please come back down. I feel sad that I made a mess of Tim's special invitation for Tony. But it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, I wish Tim would come downstairs now. Oh, leave him for a little bit and then we can pop upstairs and see him later once you've got all his invitations, OK? Look, do you like it, Grandma? Oh! It's Josie Miller's invitation. Yes, that's lovely writing, Topsy. And well done. That's all the invitations finished. But we need one more invitation. We can't give Tony this one. It's all wet and smudged. Oh, yes. Topsy, I've got an idea for Tony's invitation, but I need your help. Oh, what are we going to do? I'm going to have a look at this. <laughs> Mummy's idea is to make an extra special invitation for Tony on the computer. It's a surprise for Tim. Tim? Tim? I've come to say I'm sorry again. I've made a special invitation for Tony. What is it? I made it on the computer with Mummy, look. It's a special invitation. Made from a photograph. <laughs> Well, Topsy, using a photograph was a really good idea. I know. Open it. Oh, yes, Mummy's written the party things inside. <laughs> Do you think Tony will like it? I think he will absolutely love it. Thanks, Topsy. <laughs> That's OK. I'm really sorry I messed up your special invitation, Tim. Oh, it's OK because this invitation is much better. <laughs> but I know how we can make it even better, Topsy. Come with me on the computer. OK. Mummy? Do you think you have any more photos of Tony? Uh, on your computer, please. Yes, I've got lots. Let me see. Hang on. Do you think you have a photo of me? Tony and Topsy. Um, let me see. Oh, like this one. I guess that's brilliant. <laughs> that's the photo we should use at the back of Tony's invitation. Oh, look, Topsy and Tim with Tony. That's nice. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now. Click on the number five you want to use. Uh, Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Yay! Well done. Number five. Nice. Do you want Tim? Yep. <laughs> number five is a big number. Yeah, now watch your look. Give this one. one. I'm do another one. We decorate Tony's photo together. And when we print it, it looks really good. Oh, what a say. Oh, Take it. Oh, well clever. Done. Guess who? That's beautiful. Oh. Show it to Topsy. Fantastic. That looks really good. Brilliant. Brilliant. OK, now, all we need to do is stick it on the back of Tony's invitation. Yes. Yeah. OK, okay. Why don't you go and get some glue? That's right, Topsy. Oh, I think it's No, it is. Oh, ha. <laughs> stick it on. Oh, you're right, Tim. There oh. we go. I'm going to write his name green. And then we can both sign our names. Yes, from both of us. <laughs> In our best handwriting. Yes! That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, brilliant. We take ages writing Tony's card. What a blue! <laughs> then I show Tim Grandma's party box. Party things. <laughs> That's okay, Grandma. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, hats. Can I 
try one. Yeah, up here. Oh, actually, I'll try Lovely one. candles. What do you think? She's <laughs> <a> funny, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and that's when Grandma said... Mossy's, Mossy's ready, ready for her walk. walk. Mossy's ready for her walk, Topsy and Tim, so shall we walk her to the post box so you can post your party invitations? Yay! I want to post Tony's extra special invitation. And I want to post you? Lucy Miller's invitation yes. through her door. She only lives across the road. Yeah. Please, may I, Mummy? Yes, of course she can, Topsy. We can pop it through her letterbox yes! that way. Let's Come go. on, everybody, let's go! And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we made some special party invitations. Can you remember the number we used on our special invitations? Was it number four or was it number five? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is number five. Watch this. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five you want to use. Uh... Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Tip, tip. Come on, Tim. Wakey, wakey. Today, Mummy's taking us to visit big school for the first time. And we're going to meet our teacher. Kerry said her big brother Jaden got lost the first time he went to big school. I know. I hope we don't get lost inside school today. Come on. Do you think we will? Morning, Topsy and Tim. Are you ready to see your new school today? Yes! No. <laughs> My tummy hurts, Mummy. Oh. I don't feel well and I want to stay in bed. Oh. Well, you feel fine to me. Not hot at all. I think you're worried about your trip to big school. Come and have breakfast. There you go. I'll have your breakfast on the table in five minutes. OK? Come on, Tim! Your lovely fruit smoothie for breakfast. I think it'll make you feel better. Mm. It's yummy, Mummy. Oh, good. Oh. Hello, Jean. Okay, hold on. It's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Bye, love you. Oh, thanks, Topsy. She's still there. Oh, hi, Jean. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll give you a call a bit later. Let you know how it went. OK, bye. Oh. You seem really excited about going to see inside your new school today, Topsy. <laughs> oh, Tim, why aren't you dressed yet? I told you, Mummy. I've got a tummy ache and I want to stay at home today. Tim. You really do feel fine to me, my twin tabulous Tim. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that your tummy just feels a little bit wobbly and nervous today because of your school visit. But you know what? If you two stick together today, you'll be fine, OK? <laughs> what if we get lost today, Mummy? In the big school? You won't. Mm -hmm. Make sure we don't get lost inside big school today. How? I'll show you. Come with me. This will make you feel better. We can make a trail in big school today. Why? 
That's what they did in the story of Hansel and Gretel, remember? They put little crumbs in their pockets mm -hmm. and then dropped them out one by one. Then they went into the forest. Oh yes, and they followed the trail of crumbs back out of the forest, back home. And when we go into big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. So imagine we're in big school and I've got lost, but I've left a trail of these blocks behind me for you to find me. OK. Let's try it. Count to 20. Oh, yeah. No peeping. I promise. I'll follow the trail. Seven, eight, <laughs> 19, 20, coming, following the bricks, and I'll find you. all over the floor. I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Like this. Well, it's a very clever idea, but... Topsy's brilliant idea. Well, it's a very clever idea. But I'm sorry, you won't be allowed to leave a trail of bricks around Big School. But we don't want to get lost, Mummy. We're doing what Hans and Gretel did. Oh, Topsy and Tim. Please don't worry, OK? You are not going to get lost at Big School today. OK? OK. But... Jaden got lost, Kerry told me. <laughs> no, he didn't get lost. He and his mummy, Dominique, got lost on the way to big school. They couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know where big school is. We won't get lost. Yes, exactly, you see. And Dominique just phoned to tell me that I'm allowed to visit your new classroom with you. I can go in with you at big school oh, today. Oh, great! We won't get lost if you're with us, mummy. Exactly! Now, listen, you need to get dressed and have a slice of toast, OK? Okay. How's your tummy feeling? Oh, my tummy's a little bit better, Mummy. Good. Now we leave in ten minutes, Tim, so hurry up. Go up and get dressed. Okay, Mummy. We got to big school on time. We didn't get lost. And we ran all the way home to telephone Grandma and tell her all about it. Hello, Grandma. It was brilliant. Our teacher's called Miss Terry and she read us a really good story about pirates. Yeah, here you go, Tim. It's your turn. Oh. Hello, Grandma. Good. Oh, we didn't get lost, Grandma. And the school's really big. It's got two playgrounds and two climbing frames. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Bye, Topsy. Speak to Grandma. Bye, Say Grandma. Bye. I love you. Bye. Yeah, Mummy. Oh, thank you. Thanks. All right, thank you so much, Jean. Bye. I really like our new teacher, Miss Terry. And that's what Mummy said. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time, Topsy and Tim. She told me she's coming to visit us. At our house? Why? Well, it's called a teacher home visit. It's so that you can get to know one another even more. Yes! I can't <laughs> wait! I can't wait! I can't wait! I really, really wanted to come right now! And yes! <laughs> Aww. Are you OK, Tim? I wish Tony Welch was coming to our school, Mummy. I know. But he moved house, remember? He's going to a different school. I know that. Do you like Miss Terry, Tim? I don't really know. Mummy, my tummy hurts again. Oh, Tim, are you a bit worried about starting school again? No, I just think I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, it has been a very busy morning. Come on, let's make some lunch. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, before we visited school, we played a game. Can you remember what Tim followed on the floor to find me? Was it a trail of crumbs? Or was it a trail of bricks? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a trail of bricks. Watch this. Tim, why are there bricks all over the floor? I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Morning, Topsy and Tim. Morning, Dad! Morning. It's our first morning in our new house. Can you put them in the dishwasher, please? OK. And we still haven't unpacked all of the boxes. <laughs> of course, new house. <laughs> Dishwasher's over there with Daddy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And the thing we love most of all about our new house is our new pet rabbit. Please, can we go and give our rabbit his breakfast now, Mummy? And your pajamas? Yes. Please, double, please. Double, triple, please, please. <laughs> all right, just this once. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Today, Topsy gave our rabbit its food. Today, it's my day. There we go. And it's my turn to fill up the water bottle. Oh, that's nice, Tim. Let the rabbit smell your fingers and then, then stroke him, OK? Perfect. There's his food. OK, thank you. We need to think of a name for our rabbit. What are you going to call him? Uh, what about Zebra? Because he's black and white. No, he doesn't look like a zebra. He's more grey than black. And he's too small and snuggly. <laughs> I know, Snuggles! Yes, Snuggles! Snuggles? No. I don't think he likes that name. I like Fluff. Or Twitchy! Yes, we can call him Twitchy! At some point, you two will decide on the perfect name for your rabbit. But right now, you need to get ready for nursery school. Aww. Oh, I want to care for him. I want to clean out his heart. And you can do that later. But now Dad's all set to take you to nursery school. No more stroking. I'll put him in his run. So, hop it. <laughs> OK, bye. Mummy. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. 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 When we get home from nursery school, we can't wait to see our rabbit. Scooters in the porch, please. We've told all our friends about our lovely rabbit. Tony Welch thinks we should call our rabbit Jack after his baby brother. And Kerry thinks we should call him Moon after my little moon bunny. Boing. Hello. Where is he? Showing them the garden. Oh. Oh. Hello, rabbit. Hello. So Hello. soft, Hello. mummy. Nice Please may I go and clean out the rabbit's hutch now, mummy. Yeah, of course you can, Tim. Come and help me get the stuff. I can look after him while you do it, Tim. Okay, Topsy. Please can I show the rabbit our living room? Yes, of course you can, Topsy. Let's go inside. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Come on! Yay! 
All that into there, please. Yeah. Very good. So I care for our rabbit in the living room while Tim cleans out his hutch. I think he's getting used to me, Mummy. Rabbits don't always like being stroked, so not too much stroking, Topsy. Lunch. Oh, coming. <sighs> now, where should we put the rabbit once we have lunch? I know, I would have thought. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you pull it out, Topsy? I think so. Oh, good girl, let me help. It's all right. Falling off. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. Oops. There you go, Rabbit. You'll be nice and safe in there once we have lunch. And there's a doorway hole this side. Here you go, Bunny. This is Tiger will look after you. Oh, that's a nice idea, Topsy. Come on, let's go and super wash your hands. Hello, Bunny. <laughs> Call the rabbit Patch. Oh. While we eat Dad's special sandwiches, we think of more names. I know. We could call it lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> or carrot. <gasps> I've got it. We could call it peanut butter. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> You're funny, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> After lunch, we take our rabbit a little treat and see that he's already hungry. He's been nibbling our fort! Mm. We bought some lettuce for you. And look at little tiger. <gasps> oh, no! He's been nibbled. Oh, he's been gnawing, hasn't he? That's what rabbits do to make themselves feel at home. And to make sure that their teeth don't get too long. Let me grab him. Come on. Oh, that's a good. Come here. Oopsie. Uh, there we go. Hello. You want something to gnaw on, don't little rabbit? <laughs> yeah, he does. I'm going to clean and mend your chewed up wooden foot. To make sure you don't gnaw any more of Topsy and Tim's toys, we'll find you something else to nibble on. I know what he needs! I tear up empty cardboard boxes for our rabbit to gnaw on. Oh, yes! He's a recycling rabbit! Here you go, little rabbit! <laughs> Some nibbly gnawing cardboard for you. Oh, that's really good thinking, Topsy and Tim. But old cardboard isn't always very good for, for little rabbits. Oh, okay. oh, but look, I've just remembered that Mr Fishwick sent you something for your new pet. Look. Gnaw sticks for your new pet. Oh, yeah. These will be perfect for our new rabbit. Let's give him one. Give it a try. <gasps> his nose wiggly. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly nose. <laughs> Hello, Wiggles. <gasps> yes, Wiggles. That's what we should call him. Yes, we can call him Wiggles! <laughs> That's a brilliant name. I wish Carrie could see you, Wiggles. Oh, Carrie will meet Wiggles very soon. <laughs> At night time, Wiggles went to sleep in his bed in our back garden. And we got ready to go to sleep in our beds. Hey, I just met our neighbours from across the road. Mrs Miller and her daughter, Josie. Mm. They seem very nice. Wait, I've seen a girl over the road that's riding a red bicycle. Is that Josie? Yes. Josie's a bit older than you. She's nearly six. And guess what? Josie is going to come round and play with you tomorrow. <gasps> yes! Hey! And that's when Dad says... You are going to make a new friend in our new road. You're going to make a new friend in our new road, Topsy and Tim. Yay! Can we show Wiggles to Josie? Yes, of course we can. Yes. Wiggles? Oh, yes, <laughs> that's our rabbit's name. Oh, I see. <laughs> Wiggles the rabbit. I like it. Come on, you two. Wiggle yourselves into bed. Oh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that's it, Mummy. Was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. K. 
Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we named our new pet Wiggles. But what kind of animal is Wiggles? Is Wiggles a cat? Or is Wiggles a rabbit? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Hello, rabbit. Hello, bunny. Yesterday, Topsy gave our rabbit its food. Today, it's my day. And it's my turn to fill up the water bottle. That's nice, Tim. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. OK, can you take those, please, Topsy? OK, Dad. I can't wait to see Mummy. <laughs> Mummy has been visiting Granny Molly, who has been poorly this week. Mummy's going to love these flowers. Yeah, of course she is. But now Granny Molly's better, Mummy's coming home. We're going to pick her up from the railway station later. When does Mummy's train arrive, Dad? Uh, lunch time, so we need to hurry up and plant these. Through you go, into the kitchen. Thank you. We're planting hanging baskets, either side of our front door. As a surprise for Mummy when she gets home. <laughs> the one for me, Dad. Yeah, of course there is. Oh, good. That's yours. Thank you. Dad and I put newspaper on our kitchen worktop. Fold it. Go. Just the right size, Dad. Yeah. Maybe one more, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, why are we gardening in the kitchen? Well, it's not really gardening, Tim. It's making something. We're making hanging baskets. And um, what's the newspaper for? To make sure we don't get too messy. Now. Are you ready to plant your very first hanging basket? Yes! Yes, OK. Can you grab the basket for me and put it on the surface? Basket. Basket. OK. Now, this is very special soil, Tim. It's called compost. Compost. Yeah, now, watch this. <laughs> it comes just goes straight through the basket. Yeah, correct. So we need to put that green lining inside the basket. Thank you. Straight in there. Okay. Now you try putting some more compost in. and it's staying in here now. Yeah, well done, Tim. So, you carry on filling the basket up with compost and I'll grab Topsy. OK. Topsy, can you come and make your hanging basket, please? Coming. How are we doing? Really well, look. Mm, very good. Tim shows me how to put the liner and compost in my basket. And then I plant my strawberries. Wow. Look, Dad, I've got four strawberries on my strawberry plant. Great. And your plant will grow even more strawberries soon. Sunshine and water is all they need. Please, can we pick one and eat one now? No, I know. Let's save them till Mummy gets home later. Yay! <laughs> OK. Topsy, my Mummy will love eating my strawberries. Topsy, super wash your hands, please. Right, now your hanging baskets are finished. All we need to do is hang them up. Oh, careful, Dad. Ooh. You're dropping compost all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. I know what to do. We need to make a road. Great idea, Tim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a rocking road. Yeah. Newspaper. Newspaper road. Coming through. Dad, care. 
carefully carries our baskets outside to hang them up by the front door. Our hanging baskets are up. And Mummy's going to love them. Do we really need to water the plants now? We've only just made them. Oh, yes. We need to water them every day. Maybe even twice a day. Sorry, Dan. It's okay. Yeah, plants get thirsty, especially in summer. Okay, thank you. Down your pop. There we go. <laughs> Can we go and collect Mummy now, Dad? No, not quite yet, Tim. We're stuck. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Come on, stop sitting till we need to go now. Help me tidy up inside and find my car keys. Dad drives us to the train station, just in time. Yeah, I'm going to see Mummy first. Oh, hold on to my hands, please, Topsy and Tim. Don't run to the platform without me. Thank you. But the platform is empty. Mummy's train hasn't arrived yet. Oh, now, you see this yellow line here, Topsy and Tim? Mm -hmm. Yes. You must never cross that line. Why, Dad? Well, because the yellow line's there to stop people getting too close to the railway tracks. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Very good. <gasps> Look! Dad! Tim! Oh! Oh! Hanging basket! Can we go and watch the man? Yeah, I think he's about to water them. Should we say hello? Yes! yes. We find out that the man's name is Bob. He works at the station. We tell him we just made our own hanging baskets for Mummy. Hi, Bob. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Would you like to help me water these hanging baskets? Yes, please! We tell Bob we know all about hanging baskets. They need lots of compost, and compost is special soil. And we tell him that you need to water them twice a day when it's warm, because they get thirsty. <laughs> This is fun! <laughs> Good boy! Mm. My go, my go, my go! We all get a little bit wet. <laughs> <laughs> In the basket, Topsy. Lovely. Yes, your go. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's get back to Bob. Thank you. Topsy and Tim, I think there's someone here to see you two. Look. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh, I missed you guys. Oh my goodness, you're both so wet. What on earth <laughs> have you been up to? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome oh. home. OK, let's take these back to the car, shall we? As soon as she gets out of the car, Mummy notices our hanging baskets. Oh, wow! Look at these! Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing! The flowers are red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. Strawberries. Yes. They were only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. And that's when Mummy said, Oh, it's, it's good, good to be home. home. I've missed you. Oh, it's good to be home. I've missed you, Topsy and Tim. We've missed you. We've you. missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Welcome home, Mummy. <laughs> now, let's get inside and wash these strawberries because I can't wait to eat. <laughs> and that, said Dad, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we made hanging baskets for Mummy. Can you remember what Topsy planted in her hanging basket? Was it flowers? Or was it strawberries? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer.
answer is strawberries. Watch this. Oh, wow. Look at these. Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing. The flowers are red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. Are those strawberries? <laughs> yes. There are only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Mummy, we're playing indoors today. Okay, well, look, can you just calm down a little bit? Lunch is nearly ready. I've got tomato soup and ham sandwiches. Oh, yum, 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 yum. What should we play next? I know. You hide, and when the person looking for you gets near you, boo them. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, hide and boo. You both hide, and I'll count, okay? Oh! Come on, Tony. Go, go, go. In everybody, I've made you some cheese and ham sandwiches just for you, Tony, because I know that they're your favourite. Thanks, Mrs. Oh, you're welcome. You're all very quiet. Is everything all right with you, Tim? Yummy. Are you okay? Maybe you should play something a little bit calmer this afternoon. How about some drawing? Mm -hmm. Thanks for lunch, Mummy. Please, can we go and do some making upstairs? Of course you can. We're all glad when lunchtime is over. Come on. Thanks for lunch, Mrs O'Dell. Sorry, we were I'm very hungry, Mummy. That's OK. You can show me your pictures when you finish them later. Now it's time to mend Mummy's vase. We try to stick the broken piece back on the vase with glue from my make-and-do box. 
But it's hard to do it. I'm going to try clay now. Sticky tape yet? Oh yes! I'll do the cutting and I'll hold this. Okay, you you do that and I'll put the big piece in. The big piece first. So where does it go? Another piece. And look, let's put this round here. Yes! We're nearly done! Done in three, two, one, done! Yes! It looks all messy. Oh. <laughs> Mummy's going to see the tape. Oh. I'm going to be really sad. I know. We can colour it in. Yes. Cheers. Quick, Mummy's coming. Mm. What you'd all like a drink? Oh. Um. Thank you, Mummy. Oh, what's she making? Uh, um, we uh, haven't decided yet, Mrs. O'Dell. No, we haven't. Okay. Well, you all look very busy. <laughs> okay. You should tell Mummy now. I know. About the vase. I know. Mm. We've mended it though. Let's just put it back on the whole table. We carry the vase back downstairs and into the hall. Hello, gang. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hello, Mr. Rodan. Where's my big hello, Dad? <laughs> now, where's Mummy? I bought these for her. Hello. <gasps> oh. I bought you these to say happy wedding anniversary, Joy. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Brian. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Is it your wedding anniversary? Today? Yeah. We've been married for six whole years. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I'll put them in a vase. Oh, that's odd. Where's my vase gone? Um, we broke it, Mummy. We're sorry. We're really sorry, Mummy. We should have told you. We tried to mend it. Look. You're right. You should have told me straight away and then we could have all fixed it together. Not like this. Sorry, Mummy. Sorry, Mummy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Oh, oh, that's okay. Do you know what? Accidents happen. Okay? <sighs> I bet no one else has a vase quite like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tony went home and Mummy mended the vase properly with some special grown ups glue. And then Mummy and Dad got all dressed up. Flowers look lovely there. Oh, you look so pretty, Mummy! Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> because it's our anniversary, twins, Mummy and I are going to go out for a treat. And you two are going to get a treat too. Yeah. And that's when Mummy said, Danielle the babysitter is coming to play with you this afternoon. Danielle the babysitter is going to come and play with you both this afternoon. Yay! Danielle the babysitter. We yes. love her. <laughs> so please try and be good and no more breakages. We promise. We promise. Now, how about an anniversary? Oh. Oh. <laughs> and that, said Dad, was that? that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today was Mummy and Dad's wedding anniversary. Can you remember what present Dad brought home for Mummy? Was it a bunch of flowers? Or was it a box of chocolates? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a bunch of flowers. Watch this. Where's my big hello, Dad? <laughs> now, where's Mummy? I bought these for her. Hello. Oh. 
I bought you these to say happy wedding anniversary, Joy. Oh, thank you, Brian. They're gorgeous. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. When we start big school, Miss Terry will be our teacher. We met her when we went to visit our new school. And today, she's coming to our house. What are you doing, Topsy? I want Miss Terry to see all of my cuddly toys. Topsy, what's that on your hands? Oh, I was helping Tim paint his spaceship. Sorry, Mummy. No, it's all right. Don't worry, I'll just get a cloth. Is Tim painting too? Yes, I think so. Give me your hands, please, Topsy. You need to be clean to meet your new teacher. Tim, where are you? Oh, look at you. Let me wipe your face and hands. You need to be clean for Miss Terry and she'll be here soon. Why is Miss Terry coming to our house? Well, teachers need to meet all new school children before their first day. Helps you get to know each other. Your hands are nearly done, thank you. I want to play in my space rocket. Well, you can play in your space rocket later, Tim. But please, come downstairs now, be polite, meet your new teacher. Oh, the aliens are about to attack. Mummy! I'm coming, Topsy! Come on, Mummy! Hi, I'm Caroline Terry. We met when you visited the school. This is my teaching assistant, Miss Best. Hello! Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm Joy and this is Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Hello, Miss Terry. Hi, Topsy. I remember you. <laughs> Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Hello, Miss Best. Oh, where's Tim? He's upstairs in the space rocket. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't want to come down yet. Sorry, but please come in, make yourselves at home. Thank you. <laughs> yes, come and see my toys, Miss oh, Terry and Miss Best. Love to. They're in here. Look. Aww. This is Little Moon Bunny. Hello. This is Frederick. Hello. Hello, hello Frederick. Oh, I'll put the kettle on. Thank you. Make your cup of tea. This is Dr. Sausage Dog. Oh, hello, Dr. Sausage. Oh, dear. Oh, poor thing. He's hurt his leg. Yes, his other normal leg is upstairs. Oh. In my bed, sad. Would you like to come and see? Yes, I would. Come on. <laughs> Mrs. O'Dell, is it OK if we go upstairs with Topsy? Yes, of course. You'll find Tim in his bedroom up there, too. Yeah, okay. come on. <laughs> Lots of equipment there, haven't you? Yeah. Hmm. Look, this is Dr. Sausage, Dr. Sausage Dog's yes. other leg. Oh. This is how I make him better. I see. Oh, look, that's clever. Actually, there's someone in my bag who needs a vet's checkup, Topsy. This is Mr. Honeybear, our class teddy. Would you make him better, please? Yes. Oh, poor honey bear. I'm going to put a plaster on your paw. Oh, that's kind of you. Like this. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I think I'll take him to say hello to Tim. Yes? OK, Tim's in the room next to mine. Oh, thanks, Topsy. Miss Bess. Could you please find a sticker each for Topsy and Tim? Of course, in my folder downstairs. Meow, sure. Tim? Hello. May I come in? I brought our class teddy, Mr. Honeybear, to say hello. This is Eddie Teddy. Oh, hello, Eddie Teddy. Let's shake paws. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, I love this super space rocket. My goodness, you know, um, our class had a special space week last term. Oh. Mm. We um, made planets and rockets to hang from the ceiling and alien masks to wear. Oh, I love to wear an alien mask. Do you? Well, that's good because I brought some along to show you. Come and have a look. Oh, yeah. They look funny. <laughs> what are they? Alien masks. <laughs> what do you think? Should we try them on? <laughs> yes. Which one would you like to try on, Tim? I'll wear this one. All right. What about you, Topsy? This one, please. Oh, ah, I like the googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Let me help you. Oh. There we go. Let's go downstairs and show Mummy. Yes, here we go. There. Topsy and I put on an alien mask. So it is Miss Terry. Mummy, we're funny oh, and scary aliens. And Tim says he's ready to come downstairs now. Oh! <laughs> you certainly are. I've got some special space drinks for you all in the kitchen. Tim meets Miss Best and we drink our alien apple juice. Then Miss Best gives us both a sticker. Right then, I have got some stickers for you. <laughs> so there we go, one for you. Thank you, it's a bunny rabbit. Oh. And there's one for Tim as well. There you go. Oh, mine's just a boring old umbrella. Actually, your rabbit sticker and your umbrella sticker are very important, Topsy and Tim. Miss Best is going to post a rabbit sticker and an umbrella sticker just like those on your pegs at school. And on your first day, you'll know where to put your bag and coat. Thank you. I love my bunny rabbit oh, sticker. Oh, good. It makes me think of our rabbit, Wiggles. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Terry. Thank You're you, Miss Best. You're very welcome. I think... My umbrella stick is okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's right! Oh. Oh. Put your mask on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Where did these masks come from? <laughs> our teacher, Miss Terry, and our teaching assistant, Miss Bester, here. Oh! <laughs> come see them, Dad. Go yeah, yeah. them with them. Okay, let's go, Tim. Hi, Hi, I'm Brian. Sorry I'm late. Oh, not to worry. Nice to meet you. Oh, dear. Sorry. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Car disaster. Nice Mummy, where's the cloth? That needs a wash. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. Go clean them off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Dad, you have to be clean for Miss Terry. <laughs> Mummy told me that. Thank you, Topsy. Now, Topsy and Tim, do you have any more questions you'd like to ask me about school? Yes. Will Tim and I be able to sit together on our first day? Yes, of course. Actually, all 30 children in my class sit together on the carpet. Um, but how will we get to know all the children's names? Oh, you will. We'll play lots of name games. You'll be fine. Now, we have lots more children we have to visit today in their homes, and I think they might like to see the alien masks too. So please go have them back. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We've really enjoyed our visit. Oh, well, thank you for coming, Miss Terry and Miss Best. <laughs> and we will see you, Topsy and Tim, next week for your first day at school. Yes, you <laughs> will. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye. And that's when Dad says, and by then, you will both be five years old. <laughs> and by then, you will both be five years old. It's your birthday, remember? Oh, yes, we're having a party this weekend! <laughs> <laughs> have great fun at your party and tell me all about it at school, won't you? And that, yes. said Miss Terry, was that. <laughs> Teacher visit. Can you remember what masks Miss Terry brought round to show us? Were they alien masks or animal masks? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is alien masks. Watch this. <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Stop! You 
We've drawn teeth for two minutes. Well done. Okay. Bit of a quick rinse. Very good. And dry your mouth. Good boy. And dry your mouth. Our dentist is going to love our clean teeth. Wow! Yeah. Yes, they Look are him. shiny. Oh wow, they're so bright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mummy normally takes us to the dentist, but she's away this week staying with Granny Molly. So Dad is taking us to the dentist today. Now, is there anything else we need to remember before we go to the dentist? Yes! yes. I'll go! What? Oh, um, we always bring Eddie Teddy and Little Moon Bunny to the dentist with us. Oh, OK. Come on, Topsy. Why do we bring them? Uh, it's a secret. Oh. Come on, then, let's go. Come on, Mr. Moon Bunny. Mr. Teddy and you, Dad. Hi, Mr. Adele. Hi, Mrs. Bear. Hi. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mrs. Barry. Oh, my goodness, haven't you grown? I can't believe Our dentist is called Mrs. Berry. Her assistant this is called Kenan. And they have a magic tread that goes up and down. Right, let's get started. OK, Twins, who wants to go first? Me! Me! me. <laughs> yes, me. of course, on you get toys. You get the first chair, right, right, Kenan? Oh, I see. <laughs> this is why we brought your toys to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we came to the dentist, Mummy let us bring our toys with us. And even though we're big now, Mrs Berry still lets us bring them every time. OK, come on, toys, open up. Oh, my, yes, what do you say? Right, very good. Oh, very good. Very good. Yes. Topsy and Tim, if your teeth are as good as your toy's teeth, you're going to be dazzling me with your smiles. I told you they'd brush their teeth twice a day. <laughs> Who's next, then? Who's next? Me! Me! I want to go fast. OK, Tim, it's your turn next. <laughs> OK, can we have the chair down, please, Karen? Oh, 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 oh. Now, Timmy, you know what to do. Open wide and say... Ah! 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 OK, let's have a look. Ah! Well, let's have a look. Oh, yes. You've been brushing very, very well. Now, I hope you haven't been eating too many sweets or fizzy drinks. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, haven't. Good, that's great. Well... If you do, just make sure on those days that you brush your teeth extra well at bedtime. Tim, you have excellent teeth. Topsy, you're next, please. Yes! OK. <laughs> right, Topsy, let's see how you've been doing then. Hold on tight, Topsy. Here we go! Look at yours. Have you been eating lots of chocolate? No. And honestly? <laughs> OK, now, Topsy, you know what to do. Open wide and say... Uh, uh, All right, you can stop now. Let's have a look. Wow, now, you have been brushing your teeth very well, too. That's great. You have excellent teeth, too, Topsy. Well done. Well done. Thanks, Kenan. <laughs> um, now, Topsy and Tim, in about a year or so, you are going to lose your teeth. They're going to start wobbling, ready to come out. Why will they wobble? Oh, it's OK. It's nothing. It's nothing to worry about at all. Basically, all your milk teeth fall out one by one, OK? And then what happens is that gives you time for your big teeth to grow in their place instead, doesn't it, Dad? Yeah. Exciting, new teeth. Yeah. Have you got any friends that are a little bit older than you? No. No. Yes, you have, twins. You've got a friend called Josie Miller who's nearly six. Oh, yes, Josie! Ah, well, you see, Topsy and Tim, losing your milk teeth actually can be quite fun. And I think that you should ask her to tell you all about the tooth fairy. What's the tooth, tooth fairy? Oh, I, I think you'll like to hear about the tooth fairy. <laughs> we can ask Josie about the tooth fairy on the way home. Great. OK, Dad, your 
turn. On the way home from the dentist, Dad lets us call for Josie and she comes to play. And guess what? Josie has a wobbly tooth. It's my first milk tooth that's ready to come out. Look, it's really wobbly. Oh, it's a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> Through to the kitchen, please, you guys. Okay. Josie, yeah? do you know about the tooth fairy? Yes, my mum says when my tooth comes out, I have to put it under my pillow at bedtime for the tooth fairy. Why? Why? The tooth fairy will come when I'm asleep and she'll take my tooth. She leaves a coin. Whoa! What does the tooth fairy do with your tooth? She uses it to build a castle, I think. Oh, cool. Wow. What does the tooth fairy look like? My mum and dad says nobody has ever seen the Tooth Fairy. I want to see the Tooth Fairy. So do I. We asked Josie lots more questions about the Tooth Fairy until it was time for her to go home and time for our bedtime. Night, night, Topsy. See you in the morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep tight, Tim. Night, Dad. Night, night. Topsy and I have a secret code. If one of us knocks on the wall three times, the other one has to come through. What is it, Topsy? Chattering teeth under my pillow, and I'm going to stay awake all night and wait for the tooth fairy to come and get them. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to get the other teeth. I want to do it too. Topsy and Tim, what's going on? What's going on? What have you got under your pillow, Topsy? Chattering teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I want the tooth fairy to come and collect them. <laughs> and that's when Dad said, The tooth fairy is far too clever to fall for a trick like that. The tooth fairy is far too clever to fall for a trick like that, Topsy and Tim. The tooth fairy will only come when there are proper milk teeth to collect. <laughs> oh, I can't wait until my teeth fall out so I can see her. Nor can I. I can't wait to see the tooth fairy. I can't get to sleep. OK, well, I want you both to try very hard to sleep so I can tell Mummy how good you're being while she's away. OK? OK. OK, come here. <laughs> Let's get you back to your own room, please, Tim. And that, said Dad, was, was that? that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, after our trip to the dentist, we looked at our friend's wobbly tooth. Can you remember who had the wobbly tooth? Was it Kerry or was it Josie? The answer is fine, Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Josie. Watch this. So please show us your wobbly tooth now, Josie. It's my first milk tooth that's ready to come out. Look, it's really wobbly. Oh, this looks all strange. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. My new school uniform. I love the cardigan. Topsy, Topsy, do you need my help with your uniform? No thanks, Mummy. I don't like my new school shorts. Tim, would you like me to help you? Oh, no, I can dress myself, Mummy. Thanks.
Oh, good morning, Topsy. Let me have a look at you. Oh, wow, do a little turn. <laughs> Come here. Oh. I'm really, 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 really excited. Oh, good, and you look wonderful in your new uniform. Topsy! Amazing, look at that. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Oh, Tim. You've got your sweatshirt on back to front. Can we turn oh. it round? Yes. OK, let's get your arms out. And twist round. Perfect. And then pop them back in the sleeves again. Yay. Perfect. Let's get your collar out. Okay, let me have... Oh, you look the perfect schoolboy. OK, breakfast time, twins. Sit down at the table for me. I'm hungry. So am I. Right. Here we go. Oh, actually, maybe I should do the milk today so that you don't spill any milk on your new school uniforms. Thank you, Mummy. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Have you got a message, Mummy? Yes, it's from Grandma. What does it say? It says, hello Topsy and Tim, have a lovely day at your big school. Love you lots, both of you, and sending your big huggle grandma kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, please can we take a picture of us in our school uniforms and then we send it to grandma? That is a great idea, Topsy, especially as you've been so careful at keeping your uniforms clean. OK, so ready? One, two, three, say big school! Big, big school! <laughs> Oh, lovely, thank you. I think they'll send that to Dad, too. Yeah, send it to Dad. We like it. You know, Topsy and Tim, Dad's really sorry that he's had to go to work earlier and that he'll be missing walking you to school on your first day. Mm. You carry on eating up, though. After breakfast, we go up to the bathroom to brush our teeth. Oops, Mummy! Yes? Oh, no, Topsy, not on your new uniform. Oh, dear. At least it's only a little bit of toothpaste. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could have been much worse. <laughs> Let's get that off. It's coming off fine. There we go. Oh, Mummy, look! Oh, Tim. <laughs> That's really big bit. <laughs> That's much worse. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. Thanks, Mummy. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. I win. Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, perfect. I'm ready for school. Okay. Who's that? What's that? <gasps> Dad! Dad! <laughs> oh. I made it in time. It's your first day of school, could I, Tom, see and Tim? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dad. Oh, and when Mummy sent me your photo, you look so smart in your school uniforms, I dashed back home from work. Thank you, Dad. Thank oh, you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's all go to school together. Are you ready, Topsy and Tim? Yes! Yeah. Topsy, I feel a little bit funny in my tummy. But, Tim... We've got that promise to keep, remember? Oh, yes, I'm excited about our promise. Yes. <laughs> Come on, then, off we go. We promised our friend Mr Rosen that we'll wave to him every day on our walk to school. Now we're off to keep our promise. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Bye, Topsy and Tim. Enjoy your first day at school. Thank you. Thank you, we will. Yeah, Hi, Topsy and Tim. Are you riding your bikes to school? No, we're walking. So we can wave to our friend, Mr Rosen, on the footbridge. We promised. <laughs> OK. <laughs> See you at school, Josie. This is it. We're on our way to big school. <laughs> we count the steps up to the top of the footbridge. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yay! And we watch a train going underneath. Look! Look at that one! Whoa! Look! Yeah, so many carriages! Whoa! Then we point out Mr Rosen's window to Dad. That 
Santa's window. Look, there, Dad. He's not there. Do you think he's forgotten about our promise? Well, maybe Mr Rosen just hasn't got out of bed yet. But he promised. Mr Rosen did promise. He is there! Look! Look, he's there! <laughs> I'm ready to go to school now. Hey. So am I. When we get to the school gate, we see lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery are there. Andy Anderson! Oh, and Steve Dunton! Hello, Andy Anderson! We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Kerry! Ooh. Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will. This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. Hello, are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today was our first day at big school. Can you remember the colour of our new school book bags? Were they blue? Or were they red? The answer is behind the jigsaw pieces. Look, the answer is blue. Watch this. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. I win. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, perfect. I'm ready to school. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! There's a step coming up. Just going to put a step. Go down, go down, go down. Go. Where are we going? When can we look? No peeking. Eyes tight shut. We're five today. Yeah. Are you peeking? No. <laughs> Mummy and Dad have a surprise birthday present for us in the garden. Double, double, triple promise. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Topsy, Tim, you can open your eyes now. Oh, Happy oh. birthday! A house! <laughs> a playhouse! <laughs> Thank, Thank you! you. Whoa! <laughs> Do you like your playhouse, twins? Yes! <gasps> and... Look at the front door. This house belongs to... Ta and Ta. For Topsy and Tim! This is the best birthday present ever! <laughs> Thank you! Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I can't wait to show Tony World to our new playhouse. Well, you'll be able to at your party later. Yay! It's a birthday. We're going to play musical chairs at our party and it's our job to find enough chairs. I find the chair in the porch that we sit on to take off our muddy shoes. Topsy! I find Mummy's spinning office chair. <laughs> Everyone's going to want the spinning chair. opening the presents after the party, remember? <laughs> Thank you so much for the extra chairs, oh Dominique. But we still need more chairs for the party. Yeah! Yeah, we're playing musical chairs! <laughs> yes, we are! Come on in, let's put them down. Thank you. We play musical spinning chair while we wait for our party to begin. Oh, OK. Who's Mummy? Is it Tony? No, it's Mr. Fen from next door. Hello, Mr. Fen. Hello, Come Joy. In. Hi. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Fen. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Topsy. <laughs> is this a spinning chair, Mr. Fen? Yes, I got an urgent message. You needed more chairs for your party. Huh? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, is this going to be your chair for the party table? No. I think my friend Tony Welch would like this spinning chair best. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. You take it in there, Tim. Good boy. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Fen. Right. See you later. Yep. Bye. Soon, we have enough chairs for all our friends. But we need two more for us. Someone give me a hand, please. Oh, oh thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Two more chairs for the birthday girl and boy. Can you give me a hand to help. Now, we are ready for the party. And just in time. Happy birthday, twins. Oh, Tony, I'll take those. Thank you. In you go. Happy birthday. Once everyone's arrived, we play our musical chairs game. Who's ready to play musical chairs? Me! <laughs> the musical chairs prize and you get your special <laughs> prize everybody the winner everybody smile again or say cheese there's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table and lots of food <laughs> for a big surprise. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. <laughs> Then we played more games, and it was time for our friends to go home. There you go. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Okay, I'll see you again. Bye, Linda. Thanks for coming. 
Before Tony Welch goes home, I take him out to the garden to show him our new birthday presents. I can see my dad! Hi, Dad! Happy birthday, Tim. Nice house. Thanks. Tony can come and play in it all the time. Please, Dad. Please, Mr Welch. We won't be at the same school, but we will still be best friends. And that's when Mr Welch said, Tony can come and play as often as he likes. Tony can come and play as often as he likes, Topsy and Tim. As long as your mummy and dad say it's OK. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> In fact, why don't I put another T just here? Be um tough for Topsy and tough. tough for Tim and tough for Tony. Yes, yeah. yes. The house can belong to all three of us, Tony. Yes, yes, yeah, hi, Mike. Hi, Tim. Hi, guys. Come on, Tony. It's time to go. Come on. Oh, thanks for inviting me to the party. Happy birthday, Topsy. Happy birthday, Tim. Don't forget your party bag, Tony. Good luck at your new school. Tony will be back to play before you know it. <laughs> come up here, Mummy! Right, yeah. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. <laughs> yeah, I want Tony up there. And then, could you oh, ask? Wow. Could you and me? Could you and Topsy? And then, could you and you? Yeah. 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 Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today was our birthday party. Can you remember who won the game of musical chairs? Was it Tony Welch? Or was it Andy Anderson? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Tony Welch. Watch this. Only three chairs left. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a squash. <laughs> Tony Welch wins the musical chairs prize. And you get your special <laughs> prize. Everybody, the winner! Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. We've been to the shops to buy everything we need for our birthday party tomorrow. We're going to be... Five! I love my shiny number five balloon. And me. Well, hold on tight to your balloons, please, Topsy and Tim. Let's get them safely in the car. Stick with me, please. When we get home, we're going to tie our balloons to the front door. So people know it's our birthday. Tim, over this side, please. Be careful of the cars. Right. I love my balloon. So do I. I'm so excited. Tim. Would you hold these fairy cakes for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Mmm, they look yummy. <laughs> yes, they do. Hold them really carefully, please, once I put everything in the car. Yes, because we don't want the cupcakes to get squashed. Mmm. Mmm. They smell nice as well. Are we going to have a real birthday cake with candles on, Mummy? As well as these cakes? Yes, of course you can. Please, can we have a butterfly cake with blue candles on, Mummy? Oh, no. I would like a dinosaur cake with red candles, please, Mummy. No. Please, can we have a butterfly cake, please, Tim? No. We're going to have a dinosaur cake, aren't we, Mummy? <laughs> you will just have to wait and see. <laughs> oh. Now, hold those for me, Topsy. 
Can you climb in for me, please? Uh-huh. Good girl. Oops. You get into your seat for me. Thank okay, you. I'm going to put my balloon in first. Just a minute, Topsy. Tim, can you carefully put the cakes between the two seats, please? Thank you. Move your balloon, please. Topsy. I can't, Tim. It's too big. Oh, oh Mummy! I can fit my balloon in now. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hi, Joy. Oh! Oh, hello, Grandma! Topsy! Oh! Won't fit in the car. Oh, please don't let Mossy bust my balloon, please, Grandma. I won't. Oh, I see. You've got a car full for the party. <laughs> I know. What a surprise to meet you here. I have been birthday present shopping, but you know, I can't remember who for. We know. We know. For us. us. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at your car. It is so full. How are your lovely big balloons going to fit in? Oh, I have no oh. idea. I know, I know. We could hold them like this, out of the window. Oh, oh no, Tim, that's a bit dangerous if I'm driving. And they might burst. Yeah. Then how are we going to get them home? Oh, oh, I know. Well, Grandma, you could take them in your car. Do you mind, Jean? Would that be all right? Oh, yes, I've got lots of room. I'm parked oh, just over there. Have... I will, I've got it. There we go. If you could just give them... There you go. That's all. Oh. I can bring them round to your house later. It's not fair. It's fair. Now listen, take a deep breath, OK? Grandma will take extra special care of your very special balloons, OK? Oh, cheer up, Topsy and Tim. You can help me carry the shopping inside. I'll take the cakes. Oh. I'm going to take the cakes. Oh, I wanted to carry the fairy cakes. There you go, Tim. Right, come on. OK, there you go. Oh, oh be careful with the cakes, please, you two. Oh, I want Topsy, to can you help me carry your bag, please? There you go. Straight up to the house, please, Tim. Oh, OK. Oh, Tim! Tim. Oh, why couldn't I carry the fairy cakes? I'm carrying them. And you're carrying the bread. And apples. But it's my turn. No! I'm carrying them! No! No! no. I was carrying them. It was him. He did it. Alright. No! You push me! Oh, come on, you two. Oh, dear. It's fine. It's just an accident. But I did ask you both to be careful. It's not fair. It's all your fault. No, it's all Tim's fault. But when something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath and have some quiet time. So please go upstairs. Topsy, can you bring your coat to me, please? Careful of the cakes and go upstairs to your room, please. Oh. We don't like being sent up to our bedrooms. I feel really sad. Topsy? Tim? Hello? Hi, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Mummy. <laughs> be good all the time when we are five. Oh, thank you. Now listen, we all get a bit cross from time to time. We just need to take a breath and calm down, OK? But look, I brought you some squash fairy cakes and they still taste really yummy. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yum, yum. Mmm, thank you. Tim, I don't mind if we have a dinosaur cake on your birthday, Tim. 
hand on my birthday. <laughs> no, it's okay. We can have a butterfly cake. I really don't mind. How about a buttersaw cake or a dino butterfly cake? Yeah, can oh, yeah. I have one of those, please? Yes, Mummy. A dino butterfly cake, please, <laughs> Mummy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, Grandma's here. <laughs> You just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. Okay. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. We only need one five balloon to tie in our front door. Don't worry. Well, let's tie yeah. it on tightly to the door now so this one doesn't float away. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it, Grandma. Was that? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today, we were bought balloons for our birthday party. Can you remember whose balloon blew away in the wind? Was it Tim's balloon? Or Topsy's? The answer is Tim's balloon. Watch this. Now, don't forget to hold on tight to the street, Tim. Okay. Oh, my balloon! Oh, it got oh. Hit. oh, no. It's gone, my balloon. Oh, it's not fair. Sorry, Tim. Now, listen. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. OK. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Ta-da! Oh, brilliant. Let's see. Oh, that's lovely. They're beautiful. Now what? Please, when we go and play in the garden now, Grandma? <laughs> of course. With Mossy. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, let's go fetch. I'll get Mossy's ball right. quick. Just tell me first, Topsy. Can we just put these in the dishwasher, please? Good girl. We love playing with Mossy in our garden. Mossy! Mossy? Mossy? Wait, where is Mossy? Quiet on the walk to your house. Oh, Mossy, there you are! Oh. What's wrong, Doggy? Aren't you feeling very well, Mossy? Oh. Come on, Mossy, come and have a drink of water. Grandma, Mossy keeps licking her paw. Oh, does she? Well, maybe her paw is sore. Let's have a look. fine, but I'll call the vet and book an appointment for her just to be on the safe side. Oh, poor Mossy. <laughs> I've got your I know. I'll look after you until you're at appointment at the vet. I'll go and get my vet set. Oh, just remember Mossy isn't well, Topsy, so don't expect to play and hug with her in the usual way today. OK. <laughs> I know, Mossy. I'll fill up your water bowl and I'll ask Grandma if we can give you a treat for Mossy to cheer you up. I love you. Oh, 
sorted. I've made Mossy an appointment at the vet's for later today. There. Mossy, there's fresh water in your bowl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well done. Can we give Mossy a treat, please, Grandma? That's a good idea, Tim. Can you fetch her treat tub for me? Oh, yes. Oh, no. There aren't any more doggy biscuits left in Mossy's tub. Oh, poor Mossy. I know. We can make some more doggy biscuits. Get Will soon, doggy biscuits. <laughs> yes, that is a very kind thought, Tim. But we don't have a dog biscuit recipe. Oh. We could find a dog recipe on the internet, Grandma. That's a very good idea. Could you fetch me my tablet, please, Tim? It's on the hall table in my bag. OK. <laughs> oh, do you want to help us make doggy biscuits for Mossy? Oh, no thanks. I'm going to look after Mossy like a proper vet. <laughs> OK. While I look up dog biscuit recipes on the internet. While I look after Mossy. Now I'm going to bandage your paw, Mossy. I'll show you. I'm going to put a bandage on Dr. Sausage Dog's sore paw. Look. There you go, Dr. Sausage Dog. You're better now. See, Mossy, it doesn't hurt to have your paw bandaged. Oh, Mossy, are you going to sleep? Grandma! I, I was going to bandage Mossy's paw, but she's fallen asleep. Oh, the sleep will do her good. Oh, can I help? Yeah. Wash your hands first, please, Topsy. OK. Now, add half a teaspoon of salt to the flour in the bowl. Now comes the fun bit. Whoa! <laughs> Look, Topsy, I'm a snowman. <laughs> Me too. What's next, Grandma? Um, oh, add to the flour and the salt and mix that in. <laughs> when the mixture is ready, we make bone-shaped biscuits. Look at mine, Tim. Oh, that's brilliant, Topsy. Well done. They're looking really good, Topsy and Tim. I'm making another bone shape. So am I. Nearly done, Tim? Well done, Topsy and Tim. Now, come on, let's put the first tray in the oven. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Grandma puts the biscuits into the oven to bake. When they're cooked, we have to wait ages until the biscuits are cold enough for Mossy to eat them. These look really yummy, Grandma. Oh, they won't taste very nice to us, Tim, because they're doggy biscuits. Now, just take one each to give to Mossy. Uh, Mossy! Got to some let biscuits. She's still licking her paw, Grandma. She's still licking her paw. Careful, Mossy, careful. Grandma, Mossy doesn't know her biscuits. Oh, dear. Let's see. There's something in her paw, Grandma. Is there? Oh, lie flat, lie flat. Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a stone. Just here in her paw. Oh, yes, that's why she's been licking her paw. Oh. We need to get out. Oh, well, well, well. What a good thing Vet Topsy was looking after you, Mossy. Now, let me see if I can get it out. <laughs> I've got it out. Look, it is a stone. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why Mossy was licking her paw. That's right. Mm. She's all right now. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Mummy's oh, back. Mommy's home. Look, Mossy, Mummy's back. Look, what was in Mossy's paw, Mummy? What is it? We tell Mummy all about Mossy's sore paw. And I found a stone in her paw. So, Grandma, does Mossy still need to go to the vet? No, 
So I've cancelled her appointment and I expect she's feeling a bit hungry. Mm. Look, Mossy, I've made you some doggy biscuits. And it's time for you to have one. They're very special. Yes. Here, Mossy. Now sit, sit first. Sit, sit, sit. sit. Good. Now take. Good girl, Mossy. Good girl. Good girl. And, and there's another one here for you. Well done, Topsy and Tim. How clever you are to make get well dog biscuits for Mossy. And that's when Mummy said. We've got some more baking to do before tomorrow. We've got some more baking to do before tomorrow, Topsy and Tim. We're making biscuits for your nursery school friends, do you remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> it's our last day at nursery school tomorrow. <laughs> and we're making biscuits for everyone. Great! Let's find another yummy biscuit recipe right now. Wash hands before you cook. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Mossy had a sore paw. Can you remember what we found in Mossy's paw? Was it a stone? Or was it a thorn? The answer is fine, Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a stone. Watch this. Lie flat, lie flat, Mossy. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a stone. Just here in her paw. Oh, yes, that's why she's been licking her paw. Oh. Need to get out. Well, 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 what a good thing Vet Topsy was looking after you, Mossy. Now, let me see if I can get it out. I've got it out. Look, it is a stone. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why Mossy was licking her paw. That's right. Mm. She's all right now. Good girl. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Mummy's away this week and Dad's going to play football. So Grandma's doing our bedtime. Now, where's my hello Grandma Huggle Twins? <laughs> Wee -wee. Wee. <laughs> I'm off now, you two. Bye, bye Dad. Oh, bye. Have lots. Yay. I had lots of fun with Grandma. Yay! <laughs> Mossy! And I'll get them ready for bed. Thanks, Mossy. Bye, Dad! Bye, Dad! Bye, Dad! Bye, Mossy! Right, you two. Bath time. But it's not bath time yet, Grandma. No. I know. But I'd like you to help me wash Mossy the dog. Oh, oh yeah! Yes. Would you like to do that sort of bath time? Yes, please! I can't wait to get things ready for Mossy's bath. Here's our bubble bath for Mossy's bath. Oh, that's a nice idea, Tim. But Mossy has a shower, not a bath. And she has her own special doggy shampoo. Look. Oh, yes. And she has her own doggy towel. <laughs> it's got a dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need to test the water, Mossy. She likes it not too hot and not too cold. I think this is a good temperature. Try yeah, it. Yeah, it's not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's just tickles. right, isn't it? It's just right. It tickles. That's good. Well, I think we need to get Mossy into the bath. Mossy, come on. She can. Mossy can use our bath step. Like this. Then Mossy climbs into the bath. That is a great idea, Tim. But I need to lift Mossy into the bath myself so she doesn't hurt herself. So can you just put the step back? OK. Thank <laughs> you. Topsy, you can bring Mossy up for her wash now. Topsy! Coming! Ooh. Oh! Well done, Twin. She's in. <laughs> now it's time for her doggy wash. There we go. 
Grandma gets Mossy's fur wet and we get ready to clean her. Yes, yeah, it's, oh, it's like jelly. Can we stop? You can? Yep, yeah, stop. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. That's it on the head. Bubbly, bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubble, bubble. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, right, on her body and then down to her legs. Mossy's enjoying her one. <laughs> so I know it will make it even better. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim, actually. That is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. Got your ball, Mossy! You can do that if you want. Just wet her neck for her. Just her neck. I've got it! I've got it! Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Oh, I'm all wet! Oh, you are! Oops! <laughs> 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 Tell you what I think we should do. I think the time has come, OK? I'm going to wash Mossy's head and then we can rinse her off. OK! OK! Once Mossy is soapy all over, Topsy rinses her with the shower water. Mossy isn't used to showers like we are. You need to be gentle. Uh, Mossy's bath time isn't the same as our bath time, is it, Grandma? <laughs> no. Well done, ah. Topsy and Tim. She'll soon be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. That's probably enough now. Ooh. to get Mossy out now, don't you? Yes. Right. Come on, stand over here, Tim. There we go. I'm yeah. soaked. When Mossy gets out, it's time to dry her off with her special towel. There we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You've got us all wet, Mossy. Oh. We did, didn't we? She's a good girl, though. Oh, yeah. Well done, Mossy. Mm. No, I'm done. Well done. Very well, didn't you? Look at Mossy's hair! <laughs> Look at your hair! Look at yours! It was bath night. No, we didn't have the bath, Dad. Mossy did. Ah. You need a bath, Dad. Yeah. Football <laughs> mud. <laughs> You're going to run yourself a bath, Brian, before you read the twins their bedtime stories. OK. Tell you what, Topsy, you can both pick a story tonight. What story do you want? Um. Uh. Uh. I miss Mummy's bedtime stories. I expect you do too. Yes, I do. I miss Mummy most of all at bedtime. Yeah, we all miss her. But there are only two more bedtimes until she comes home. Yay! Yay! I love Mummy and I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you. A hug always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. And a hug <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Do you know, I think Mossy wants a squeezy hug too. Yes! <laughs> Mossy! Squeeze! 
<laughs> well done, Mossy. You know, thanks to you two, Mossy's had the best day ever. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. <laughs> And, and that said, Grandma, was that? Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we helped Grandma wash Mossy. Can you remember which toy Tim brought upstairs for Mossy's bath time? Was it a ball? Or was it a squeaky bone? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a ball. Watch this. Mossy's enjoying her one. <laughs> I know what will make it even better. Oh. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim, actually. That is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys cos she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Oh, I'm all wet. Oh, you are. Oops. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Who's here? Did you finish your lunch? I'll go and answer the door. OK. We love it when our friend Mr Rosen comes round. He always has good ideas and things to do. I finished. Hi, Mr. Rosen. Hello, Dr. Watson. Oh, it's a uh, well, it's a wheelchair, Hi, isn't Mr. it? Hi, Mr. Rosen. I need it to help me get around. Hello, Tim. Do you like sight, Mr. Rosen? Yes, a bit. Mr. Rosen had a fall. I did, and I had to go to hospital. But don't you worry. I'll be up and about walking very soon. <laughs> and there's lots of fun we can have when I'm in a wheelchair. Um, do you have a ball? Oh, yes, I'll get it. Topsy, give me a push. Yes. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, that's oh, good. This is fun. Yeah, right. whoa, 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 whoa. Is it like yes. a roller coaster Excellent. on there? Very good. I'm just going to cut along, Mr Rose. Would you oh, like a cup of tea? Oh, thank you. Lovely, Joy. Thank you. Oh, very good, Topsy. Oh. Tim. Perfect. That's just right for my special Oops. exercises. Special exercises? Uh, special exercises? The doctors told me I had to do exercises to stay strong and get fit again. <laughs> now we can go back into the living room. <laughs> Bring the ball, Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. To the right, Topsy. To the right. Okay, Straight ahead. This is a Straight nice ahead. Place. Are you all right? Left. Left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back. Left. Wonderful. Here we go. That's it. Oh, that's it. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Oh, now, give me the ball, Tim. Here you go, Mr. Rosen. Thank you. If I do this with the ball, right? Up and down again. Up and down again. It keeps my arms strong. Here's your tea, Mr. Rosen. I'll just oh, pop it up thank here. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Now, Topsy, your turn to try my special exercises. <laughs> Tim's next. Catch. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Very good. Up, down. Do you have any more special exercises, Mr. Rosen? Ah, well, uh, there's the touchy finger exercise. The touchy finger exercise? Yes, What's it's that? to make my fingers strong so that they can do things like, uh, like hold a cup of tea. You see, you touch your fingers to your thumb one at a time. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great 
work. You'll have strong fingers too. <laughs> oh, there's one more important exercise. This one's for my legs. Uh, I'll need a bucket and, uh, oh, some of those building blocks. I'll get building blocks. I'll get the bucket. Oh. Box, okay, Mr. That'll be fine, Doctor. Thank you. Here. Here it is. Well done, Tim. Now, can you hang it on my foot, please? Yes, I think so. Perfect. Okay. Yes, those are okay. Drop a couple in the bucket, please, Topsy. Okay. Oops. That's it. And put the bucket back. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now then. That's enough, that's fine. Are you ready? Yeah. Up, down. Up, down. It's good for my legs, you see. <laughs> good work. Do you think that Attachee and Little Moon Bunny will be able to have a ride in the buckets as well? Why not? All aboard! We'll get them! We'll get them! He must be a little bit tired. He's still not very well, you know. And maybe, if he has a little sleep, he'll be able to play with you a little bit more later. Out we go. There you we go. were having fun. Yes. I know, but just let him rest and you can play with him a bit more later. I want to make Mr. Rosen a Get Well card. No, Topsy, we can make him a Get Well bucket. Oh, yeah. Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. So sorry. Did I go to sleep? It's <laughs> all right, Mr. Rosen. What have you got there? Well. Oh, what's that? It is an exercise bucket. It's a special one that we've decorated. It's for you, Mr. Rosen. Oh, it's a get well bunny. Thank you. It's beautiful and useful. I'm going to use it every day to do my exercises and think of you two, Topsy and Tim. Let's get better soon, Mr. Rosen. Well, Tim, it does take a bit longer to get well again now that I'm older. <laughs> and that's what Mr. Rosen said. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school, Topsy and Tim. And do you know why? No. Well, I can stand at my window and see the children walk to school over the footbridge. And I'll be able to watch and wave to you both from my window every day uh, when my legs are better. <laughs> and we'll wave to you every day from the footbridge on the way to school. We, we promise. promise. We really, really promise. And I promise too. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be something really nice Oops. for me to look forward <laughs> to. Oops. Now, now, let's use my new Get Well bucket and start some more exercises, yeah. right? And that, said Mr. Rosen, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? 
Lorraine, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, our friend Mr Rosen came round in his wheelchair. Can you remember what we made for him? Was it a get well bucket? Or a get well card? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a get well bucket. Watch this. A get well bucket? Yes, we can stick things on it and decorate it. Oh yeah, great idea, Tim. It takes a long time for us to get Mr Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. Hooray! Hooray! Pick on me. <laughs> I put the butterfly on the handle. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Started big school, I woke up very early. I was too excited to sleep. Tim, are you awake? I can't sleep anymore. Tim, wake up. We're starting big school today. <sighs> You'll wake up, Mummy and Dad. It's still really dark outside, look. Yeah, I can only just see our twin swings from in the bathroom window. I love our twin swings. Me too. Do you remember when Dad built the twin swings and he lost all the bolts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and do you remember we found the bolts and you and Kerry found the frog? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Oh, no. There's a hole in my pocket. The bolts must have fallen through. Oh, don't worry, Dad. That's a job for us. We'll find them. Good. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, Gary. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, sorry, Mummy. Oh, excuse me. Tony and I searched the living room. Come on, Tony. If we don't find all the bolts, then the swing's wings won't get built. Here's one. I found a bolt. I found one, too. There's a bolt! Where? Dad! Oh, great! Got it! And look, there are two more bolts here in the, the hallway. I've got two and you've got three. That means one, two, three, three four, five, five bolts! Carrie and I found two bolts by the back door and now we're searching in the grass. <gasps> Another bolt! Where? if you touched a frog, please. OK. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No. I think we're the only people awake in our road. <laughs> so quiet, listen. I can hear a cat meowing. Oh, do you think it's Tiger Fluffy Boots? It might be. I hope he's not stuck up in a tree again. Oh, no. 
Do you remember when we had to rescue him? Oh, yes. I remember. So do I. Wow! Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. <laughs> One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. Ah, oh, I can see the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. That is pitch. Grandma arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Up there, Mrs. Higgly Piggly's cat. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. Yay. <laughs> Here he is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, boss. I'll take him. No. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. Tim, I've got an idea. What? Let's get dressed into our school uniforms and surprise Mummy and Dad. So obviously I don't want to. Please, can you go back to your own room? OK. Tim? Please, may I take the number five balloon into my room? Oh, OK, but look after it. We want to keep it forever, don't we? Yes. Our birthday party was really good. Yes, it was the best. All our friends came, remember? There's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table. And lots of food. Are you ready? for a big surprise. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> 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 it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. Oh. <laughs> then we played more games. And it was time for our friends to go home. Tim, look, I'm getting ready for school. Tim, are you out of bed? I thought I heard something. What are you two up to? Dobsy couldn't sleep. I'm too excited about going to big school tomorrow. Oh, Topsy. It's far too early for you to get up and put your new school uniform on. I think that you should have another snooze in your own bed with your pyjamas on, OK? OK, Mummy. Good girl. First day of school will be like Topsy. It will be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> night, night, Tim. My night, Topsy. Mm. And it was good. Starting at our new school was amazing. When we got to the school gate, we saw lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery were there. And Anderson. Oh, and Steve Dunton. We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Kerry! Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. 
It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! 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 <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen. Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Go on, you go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will! I love you, Mummy! Love you, Mummy! Love you, Dad! Bye. Love you both, too! Off you go, Topsy This is our street. It's where we live. So let's all play together. Be best friends forever. 